Oh, hi. My birthday was yesterday, and yes, you're correct. I do look good for 85, or really awful for 20. Not to bring down the mood, but I started thinking, which my doctors have warned me about, but I was thinking that now as I'm getting older, how people who were once such important parts of my life are now no longer here. Over the last two years, there have been a series of deaths that have occurred, and the cops can't prove anything. But for real, my Uncle Tom passed away unexpectedly after some complications with diabetes. Now, I'm not going to pretend that we were super close, but he was a constant in my life. He was quiet and reserved, was very smart, but chose to live his life essentially by himself. He'd watch TV, read books, listen to music, and never went on the internet in his life. In a way, I envy him. When I was younger, that would have been the dream. I mean, it's honestly what I'm working towards for my retirement. But he'd been in my life ever since I was born. He'd helped to build my childhood bed, knew a lot about blues and jazz music, and in many ways infused me with my love of board games. Just recently, a man who was actually a cousin to my dad, so whatever that makes him to me, but was really more of an uncle in my life, passed away. Delbert, or Del, was a true cowboy. He loved breaking in horses, riding them, getting them hitched to the wagon, taking his grandchildren for rides and other grand fatherly things. They moved very close to the family farm when I was in high school and we spent many nights over there. They had satellite TV when we still didn't and it amazed me the amount of stuff that they had access to. But I also liked hearing stories about him and my dad's youth, the baking that was always available, the supreme kindness that was always shown. Then, the death that's affected me the most was my grandma. I made an entire video based on the eulogy that I delivered at her funeral, and words are just so inefficient when it comes to talking about her. My grandpa died when I was really young, so I never really got to know him as a person. But my grandma was in my life for over 30 years. She was, of course, independent, but infinitely curious, did crossword puzzles every single day, loved watching hockey, was funny, only wore pants because it was girly girls who wore dresses, and those are her words. And at the end of the day, that's all that this this is words. People, though, are more than a jumble of black scratches on white parchment. People are sounds and smells and images and feelings and songs and the universe. All of the people who are no longer here helped to shape who I am, for better or for worse. I mean, it's mostly worse. I know as I get older that this will become more prevalent. Older relatives, then my parents, friends, maybe my siblings. And that just sucks. There's a line in the musical Into the Woods, and of course I have to bring this back to musical theater, but the line is from the character of the witch who has realized that she needs to let the girl who has been her daughter go off into the world. And she sings, children can only grow from something you love to something you lose. Bernadette Peters does that way better. Anyway, I argue that it's not just children, close friends, family, lovers, and yes, children all go from something that you love to eventually something you lose. Now, that's not cause for you to fall into despair. I encourage people to really honor those people that you love now. Don't wait to ask those questions to your grandparents you'll wish you did when you had the time. Text those happy messages, let people know you value them, and above all, understand the short time we have here is precious. So happy birthday to me. Have we all entered into an existential pit yet? Great. So what do you think about when it's your birthday? Is it anything like me? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, we will see each other again on Thursday.